All right, so I'm kicking in the garage. This is part eight, I think. I took it for a little cruise and it ran pretty good. Got a few things to do, but anyways. Time to start working on a little bit of the interior and trying to get this thing ready to just make it a driver. So if this is something you're interested in, let's get started. How about that test drive? All right, I just took the 67 out for its first drive. Got a couple things I got to tinker with, but runs pretty good. Drives pretty good. A little bit more brake adjustment. Still got a noise coming from my alternator. Think my belt's too tight. in do some carpeting. All right, this is part eight, uh, my 67 bug project. I'm just getting ready to do the carpet in here. I just got some door panels put in. Like I said, we're gonna get front and rear carpet going, get the quarter panel, I mean the rear door panels in. It's all running and driving now. Took it for its first little maiden voyage around the block a couple of times. I still need to do a little bit more brake adjustment, but I'm quite pleased on how it ran. All right, so like I said, we're gonna get ready to yank these seats out and we are gonna try and just take seats out. Like I said, get everything vacuumed and wiped down so we could start getting some carpet going in here. Stay tuned. All right, first things first, seats are coming out in the front. That's easy. Let's see if I can do it from this side. Why it came out this side. Here's the rear door panels. The back seat. And we're going to just see what's going on in here. Where did that came from? All right, I guess the first thing's first is to get all this vacuumed out. There's a lot of junk around here. And unfortunately, these seats are breaking down, so this carpet's not going to stay clean for too long. <clears throat> okay, I got the rear section that covers all of this up, I would presume. But see, this seat is just coming apart. But I don't want to go for the whole restore on this seat. So I'll just have to keep vacuuming it up. Hmm. All right. First things first, let's just dig out all this crap and see if we can clean it all. Let's start by unbolting this back seat. All right, first we're gonna start just vacuuming. Now I'm really sure 
Remember, you guys probably don't want to watch me doing this, so I'm going to go ahead and shut off that camera. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line the whole back luggage area with this uh, flashing tape. You know, it's a lot like Dynamat, but it's in a roll, and it's much cheaper. You can get them at Home Depot or on, online at different places. All right, this stuff works really good. It sticks to anything. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out my length and go cut a handful of strips. See what happens next. All right, now that I got my first one measured, I've just taken one of these regular binder clamps. I can clamp it together and then copy this length and do that all the way across. Good for right now. Let me readjust this camera. All right, this stuff sits in here. I should say, it's basically, you peel the back off and put it on. Now, you guys really don't need to see me doing all this, and I'm sure you don't want to see butt crack going on, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull the plastic part way off of the sticky side, and I'm just going to line it up just below where it curves, so I still have room to put the carpet in. Okay, first thing as I see, there's a carpet nail in the way, so we're gonna have to go ahead and pull that off. All right, came out. And then you get yourself one of these really cool little rollers and you just go ahead and roll it into place. Try and get inside all the nooks and crannies. Get it all sealed really well. And then what I do afterwards, once I get it all lined up, then I get the heat gun out and heat everything up. So we're just gonna melt some sticks together. This will definitely help with the soundproofing from the engine. As you can see, there's nothing in here. So this will just help underneath the carpet. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to have a pretty good coverage.
Okay, here's where the butt crack comes in. All right, so the first section is all done. And that's really all I'm going to do. Like I said, I just want a little backing from the sound and the heat. I'm probably going to get out my heat gun right now and just kind of heat all this up a little bit, get it to settle before I start putting in the carpeting. I've got just some left on the roll that I'm going to do a little bit. There's a couple other spots that I'm going to take care of. And then we're going to see how this carpet fits. All right, here's the two carpet kits that I'm using from Ampi. I got them on Amazon because they are the fastest and free shipping. It took one day. You can find the link down below. This is a seven-piece black carpet kit for the front. And then we've got the five-piece for the back with the folding seat. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm starting the back. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and lay everything out. Okay, first off, we're going to set the wheel well pieces into place. You can see they look like they fit pretty good. Right now, it's just everything's just gonna be a test fit. I'm trying to just test fit everything. I know that these are gonna go in here. We're gonna get those glued in first. Now they have this finished edge that's on this part of the carpet. Does not match that configuration. Plus your headliner is gonna go over there. And I've seen other videos where they've put it into place and then trim that piece off. So I know that I have a certain amount I have to tuck inside that crack. So what I've done is I've taken these big magnets and kind of held it into place. And this is, unlike the early cars, this is going to have to be trimmed to fit underneath that little channel there. I was going to take a little bit of work to do by myself. So I'm not going to be doing any filming on this because I can't work with the camera. And if I put it on my tripod, all you can do is see the butt crack. So we don't want to see that. All right, so I'll be back shortly. All right, I'm using this. 3M Super 77 spray glue, because that's just what I always used. And I'm laying it on nice and thick, waiting for it to get a little bit tacky. And then we'll go ahead and put this first piece on. All right, starting at the top, what I did is I filled that channel full of spray glue. Did a little bit on the outer edge, and I'm just trying to get that first piece to cure and dry. So I'm just gonna leave it be for now, because what I wanna do is I wanna measure this out, trim this off where I want it, let it get all tacky, then I'll roll it up and apply the glue. Okay, what I've done here is like I said, I rolled up the carpet and this tape isn't really sticking, but the idea is to roll this carpet up out of my way so I can get glue on that back part and then I can let it fall and it'll do what it needs to do. Okay, then from here, as I unroll it softly, I could be adding more glue to the backing of the carpet. But again, can't do that one-handed. All right, now I'm just gonna trim this edge all the way across with my razor blade. It'll tuck underneath and we'll glue it down. Now the glue's tacky, you can just go ahead and drop this. And then smooth it out. Uh, the carpet's all glued into place. I've got a couple wrinkles, but this is not going to be a show car. I just want to clean it up as best I can. I'm going to massage out some of these wrinkles. But I wanted to show you, see all that overspray glue you have there? I take a little carburetor cleaner. And that kind of gets rid of it super easy. But don't accidentally think you got the glue in your hand and spray it because it doesn't work. Now I'm just gonna take a little rag and wipe this down and that should make it look pretty good. Okay, the rear section is done and presentable. I am not gonna be, I don't think I'm gonna be putting the carpet on the back end of the back seat because it needs reupholstering. But like I said, I'm gonna get in here and try and work out some of these wrinkles. The section behind the back rest, the back seat, will go into place here, but my cardboard is really shot, so I'm not going to worry about it now, but maybe I will go check online and see how much that cardboard is that fits on the back of the seat. As you can see inside, all the horse hair is gone. I was able to get most of it out, so it's not going to spill all over the place. And the seat in the front isn't so bad. is isn't so good, but it isn't so bad. So we'll figure out what we're going to do. I guess we're just probably going to put it in the car. All right, the back carpet's in, it's glued, and it's ready to go. All right, I put the back door panels in. 
And I've also put the seat in. You can see like the seat is pretty bad, messed up. I don't look bad in the back there. Much better than it did. All right, let's move on to the front. All right, as far as the front seven piece carpet kit, it was pretty straightforward. Wasn't 100% pleased with the fit, but it works for what I needed to do. I just gotta straighten out a couple of wrinkles, get everything glued in, put the seats back in, and we're done. Okay, the front carpet kit's all glued in. I'm not really that pleased with how it came out, but again, all I'm trying to do is keep some of the noise and the dust level down on this Beater 67 that I'm kind of throwing together. Right now I've got the shifter base into place and I've got a couple of scribes there where the holes are gonna be. I've chalked out where I need to cut it off so I can have a nice clean mounting point. So I'm gonna get the razor blade out and trim that away as best I can. All right, all done, shifters in place. Actually seems to work pretty darn good. All right, the rest of the carpet kit's in. Just gotta do a few final adjustments. We have, uh, there we go. The fit isn't as good as one of the ITM kits, but I'm pleased. A good price point. Fit was, you know, could have been a little bit better, but what can you say? All right, that's it for this one. Next, we're gonna get these seats out again, and we're gonna start the reupholstery. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Ciao.